So this is 2012 Howe Mountain. So we're at about 1,800 feet elevation here at our vineyard. So what made 2012 such a spectacular vintage is that the uh, free anthocyanin, also known as the color, was really, really high. And that's dictated by the vintage and the climate and the growing season. The tannin is extractable in winemaking. For winemaking purposes, we only really extract maybe 20% of the available tannin. If you over extract uh, grape tannin, you'll get this really dry wine. The wine, I like to say, tastes like this, where it's really thin mid palate. We've all had these wines, they're really drying on the back end. So when they have a lot of color and they bind equally, the wines taste, I know this is really simplistic, they taste like this, where there's a rich mid palate and it's not drying on the back end, it just kind of lingers. So watch when I pull this wine out, check out the color on this thing. So this has been down in barrel since, uh, uh, I mean, we put the blend together in January, but the wine's been down in barrel since. So this came in maybe early November, so it went down to barrel right around December. But yeah, check out the color on this wine right here. It's just spectacular color. So the goal during fermentation is to get the tannin to bind with the color. And if you don't do that during fermentation, slowly over time, the color is just going to drop out if it doesn't bind. And so you're trying to extract the right amount of tannin to bind with the color, but not over extract the tannin. So Howe Mountain, very distinct area, probably the biggest outlier in the Napa Valley. Very high tannic wines, uh, very masculine in style. Um, and so the goal is to still really slowly extract the tannin so you don't end up with this over extracted wine that just dries out and then you have to tell somebody that it's going to taste great in 25 years. Uh, although this wine probably in Napa Valley has the highest aging potential because you do have so much tannin. So as you lay a bottle down, over time you get this small amount of oxygen that's going to go in through the cork. That is going to slowly age the wine. And so you've seen oxidized wine and it's going to turn this from this color into more of a brown color. Um, but the tannin eats up that oxygen. So you, Howe Mountain Napa cabs, probably you could lay down, I mean, some of them, especially 2012, talking about probably 25 years, you know, whereas in that, the standard Napa cab, you know, is really made to drink now, but I think most people, we'd say maybe seven to 10 years on something like that, yeah. so. The standard winemaking has kind of gone away from that in Napa, because you still find bottles that do age that long, but. Yeah, some of the older world, the Bordeaux style winemaking, the pHs were a lot lower. So you had a lower pH, less ability to oxidize over time. Uh, but I think that's what, you know, Napa Cab and Bordeaux Cab, they're both Cabernet, they're just totally different animals. They don't taste anything alike. Uh, Bordeaux's are gonna come in at a really low pH. They're not gonna be accessible to drink right off the bat. They're gonna be really hard to judge what they're going to taste like in the future. Napa caps, they're a little bit softer because the pHs are a little bit higher. I mean, right now, Bordeaux just went through that huge rainstorm, you know, during the growing season. So that's gonna slow down sugar production. I mean, it's gonna be a lower sugar year, a higher acid year, so you're gonna have a lower pH. Uh, Napa is going through, you know, we're just going through 95 to 100 degree temperature, right up for Asian, so the grapes are still green, they haven't turned red yet. And so this is not a bad time to go through this. We don't want an extended period of time. It's going to be about you know a week of this temperature. Um, 2012 was probably the, you know one of the better growing seasons. We didn't have too many heat spikes. We're talking you know anywhere from upper 70s to mid 80s all the way through the growing season. So you get longer ability, longer matur maturation. So it's really not so much about the sugar maturation. You need that sugar to create the alcohol, but really you're wanting the phenolic maturation. So you want that, uh, the ability to get the tannin and the ability to have really high color. High color dictates a great vintage in my, I mean, I think in most people's opinion. So that free anthocyanin, having a high number to start with, that means you can extract more tannin. You start out with a low number of free anthocyanin or color, you can't do anything to change that, so you have to extract less tannin, otherwise you're gonna make over-extracted wines.